Okay, last couple of weeks we've been playing with a smart plug, the Cancun smart plug, which gives you full root access through SSH, so encrypted server, basically, well, encrypted connection to a server. And um, if I remember my password here, there we go. Uh, so we've been messing with the files. We changed the password, uh, and we also created some files in our www folder here. So if we, let's say, you accidentally either forgot your password that you changed it to, or you somehow screwed up the file system. What do you do? Well, luckily, it's very easy to factory reset this. Hopefully, you have any important things you put on it, any scripts you wrote backed up somewhere, which you should always have things backed up. But all we have to do is hold down this reset button for three to four seconds. And that should be it. Um, so it's rebooting now. If I try to type something in the shell here, you can see nothing happens because we've been disconnected because the server's down. So I'm just going to open up a new window and close this window. Now, we'll give it about 20 seconds to reboot and then we'll try reconnecting. Now, we're reconnecting through SSH, but everything's been cleared out. So right now when it's booting, it's going to be generating some new security keys and also resetting it to the default password, which as I mentioned from what I read online, the default password's either going to be admin one, two, three, four, or P9Z34C, which is my, in my case, that's my password. So let's go ahead and, well, I have to reconnect to the device because as of yet, I haven't gotten it on my network. Um, I have it, I'm connecting to it directly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, to iwconfig WLAN zero, that device, I'm going to DHC, uh, DH client, to get an IP address, and then I should be able to SSH into it. But you'll see when I go to connect, I get this warning that the identification has changed. And that's because I have a key on my computer, there's a key on the plug, and the key on the plug has changed since we cleared everything out. So I just need to remove that key by running this command or just going and clearing it out from this file. So. Now that we've cleared out that key, I can clear my screen, I can try reconnect again. This time it's going to try to issue me a new key. I'm going to type in yes, and then I'm going to type in the original password, which in my case, the password was P9Z34C, all lowercase. And the first thing I'm going to do is set a password that I will remember. Even though it says it's too short, and really I should have a longer password, but I'm just playing around with this device now. I'm root, so it can tell me it's too short, but it's gonna go through anyway. And I can now also look into my www folder and you can see everything's cleared out. So those files I create are all gone and the file system's basically back to where it was. So that's it. So if you screw things up, as long as you don't screw up the partition that has the factory restore, the firmware stored on it, uh, you should be okay. Um, so that's it. I just thought this might be useful. You know, if you're afraid messing with this device, don't be too afraid. Just like most devices, you can factory reset it with ease. Again, as long as you don't mess up the partition. Um, and if you're really messing with partitions on a device like this, hopefully you know what you're doing. So that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.